Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, we're gonna see that how to integrate your automation script with Jenkins. Jenkins is a free and open source automation server. It helps us to automate the process like project building, testing, and deploying as a part of CI CD pipeline. That is continuous integration and continuous delivery. Here we'll see that how can we use Jenkins to trigger our automation test. So first of all, you need Jenkins installer, which you can download from the Jenkins website. Click on download and then select the operating system for which you want to download the setup. Once downloaded, then double click on the installer and then follow these steps to install it. Then in service login screen, you can provide your local credentials or you can run it as local system. Then in the next screen, you can provide the port number. You can also check that if port is being used by any other process or not. Once done, then click on next and provide the JDK path. And at last, click on install. So this will install Jenkins in a moment. Now, once you're done with the installation, then browse to the local host at port 8080. So when you browse, you will get this unlock Jenkins screen. So to unlock it, you can find the admin password at this location as mentioned. So you can go to this folder location and then open this initial admin password file in a notepad. Here you can see that the initial password to unlock the Jenkins. Copy this password and then go back to the Jenkins. Paste the password over here and then click on continue button. After that, you will get the customized Jenkins page. You can either choose plugins which you want to install or you can go ahead with the install suggested plugin option. So if you don't want to install all plugins, and you don't need all of them for automating your job, then you can select the second option as well. Here I'm gonna select the install suggested plugins. And after that, we'll get the plugin installation screen, which might take some time to download and install all the plugins. Once all plugin will get installed, you will get this create admin user page. Here you can create your own admin user. And to do that, fill out all these information like username, password, and after that, re-enter the password again. Once you're done with filling all these information, then you can click on save and continue button. Then here you can see that it shows the Jenkins URL. If you want to change anything in the URL, then you can update the same, or you can go with the default value that is localhost with port number 8080. After that, click on save and finish button. Now you can see that our Jenkins setup is complete. Now we can start using Jenkins. So this is the Jenkins dashboard. Currently we don't have any project over here, which we can build. So let's create a new project first. And to do that, click on the new item. And then, enter the name of the item or project. I'm gonna add item name as automation build. Select the freestyle project and click on okay. So here you can see the different sections which we can use to configure the project. Here I will add the description of the project. Then you can go to the build section and then can add a build step. So you can select any of the item from the list. Currently, I'm gonna select execute windows batch command. Based upon the way you want to invoke your automation project, you can select the item from the list. Since I have selected the item as windows batch command, so I need to create a batch file in our framework, which can execute the automation tests. So first let's go to the project in the file explorer. And then here I will create a batch file at this location open a notepad and then type the command CD 
and the location of the automation project. And then in the next line, type command MVN clean test to run the automation test. So the reason we first change the directory to the root location of the project is because we can run the command MVN test from the root location of the project only. Now save this file as a batch file. And I'm giving the name to this file as execute.bat. Then close this file and let's go back to the Jenkins. Add the batch file location in the build step. You can place your batch file at any location. I have just placed it under the project folder, but you can place it wherever you want. And after that, save it. Now, if I go to the Jenkins dashboard, then you can see that now we are getting our automation build project over here. And if you want to trigger the build, then you can click on this build icon. Here you can see that build has been started. And if we click on this build link, then we can see the build execution details. Now let's click on the console output to see the execution details. So here you can see in the logs that it triggers the Maven command to build the project and the scenario got executed. As you can see in the result that it says that we have one failed step because of the reason that no such element found. So this is how you can integrate your automation test script with Jenkins. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, then please subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Also, please don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.